left in the game. All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Kamaru Usman. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact... With his kicks to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, he engages in the single column tie. Well, certainly not just a wrestler as the champion Usman shows his boxing chops there, DC. Beautiful combo. Yeah, Henry Hoof has done a fantastic job with him. He's a pupil to Henry. Henry's taking him under his wing. He's taking the time to build this young wrestler into a great fighter. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Kamaru Usman. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Well, you got to think frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown, and he knew he was going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling, as yet he's been unable to stop. He has not been able to stop it, and it's a different wrestling. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestling, where they get close to you, they hook their feet, they drag you to the mat, knowing that once you're on the... Oh! See all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a bad Do you believe it? And that'll do it. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy one. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. Looking for it. Some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. The uppercut flails and misses. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is fantastic. Take down land. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nice job. Try to take him down. There you go. Oh, slams him down with conviction. Man. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. Tonight. 